I, 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 I always feel. What was your reaction when Omar told you that he wanted your financial assistance to pay for this course? She was hopeful. Y mi reacción fue inmediata prestar el dinero. And her reaction was to immediately let me borrow the, the money. Wow. Porque no sentía a Omar muy seguro de lo que él estaba diciendo sobre sobre las clases. Because she felt that I was very sure of taking the classes. She was sure that I was making a good decision. Y vi que vi en él que era una que él tenía esperanza en esto. And she saw in me that I had hope in the course. And mm -hmm. what about your dad? Yo también, en el primer momento, dije, está bien, hay que hacerlo. Pero primero teníamos que averiguar quién era la... He said that he felt that it was okay too. Immediately he wanted me to take the course, but he first wanted to know who you were, what the course was about, the information about. Cualquier intento iba a ser bueno. O sea, cualquier intento por solucionar esto iba a ser bueno. Que no, que, que la plata era el sec, lo secundario. And that any attempt to solve my problem was the first thing to worry about. The financial issue was secondary. Amazing. You guys are an amazing family. Una familia. Yes. Okay. Let's go to what was your first reaction after the first day of the class? Mom. She was happy. She saw a change in me. What kind of change did you see? He was speaking more fluent. Yo, yo, yo vi eh, tu actitud, o sea, tu actitud, tu cara, tu cara, tu expresión cambió, tu expresión. He said that he saw that my attitude changed, my expression changed, everything about me changed from the first day on. Más, te vi eh, ilusionado. He said he saw me hopeful. He says he saw that I myself saw a change within. Within yourself. Yeah. When I spoke with uh, your mom today, I saw her tears. You were very emotional. Can you talk about it? Can you express your emotion? Why are you so emotional? She said that I've been quiet for a long time. Many years. 
Muchos años estaba encerrado en mi cuarto. And he's been in his room for a long time. No sabía cómo ayudarlo. And I didn't know how to help him. Sentía desesperación por verlo así. I felt desperation to see him like that. Lo quiero mucho a mi hijo y... I love him a lot. Y ver ahora habla fluido. Seeing him now speaking normally, fluently. Me llena de emoción. It fills me with joy. Y de alegría saber que iba a tener un futuro. Porque él quería. And happiness. Knowing that he will have a future. But he's going to be okay. What about your father? Igual, si estás encerrado, sabes que no estabas conmigo. He says that the same thing as my mom said, that I was trapped in my room, that I wasn't with him. No estabas conmigo, no. Y el tiempo pasa. And time flies. I was worried because time flies. No sabía qué hacer. I didn't know what to do. What did you observe your son was doing while he was afraid to speak? ¿Qué observaba que estaba haciendo cuando tenía miedo de hablar? Yo vi que te ponías nervioso y tú mismo te... como que te... tú te amargabas contigo mismo. I saw that you would get nervous and that you would get mad. So, did you guys have arguments pretty often? Sí. Peleamos, discutíamos. Nosotros, yo creo que lo normal, menos de lo que yo discutiera con mi papá. I think that we have arguments <coughs> like everybody else, but much less than the ones that I had with my dad. Sí. Me enseñaron a mí, me, siempre me decían que el niño que que yo hablaba así porque me ponía nervioso y yo eso te transmitía a ti yo pensaba que era eso y yo crecí así when I was a kid they would say they taught me that when I spoke like that stuttering it was because I was nervous and somehow I transmitted that to you okay so mom and dad what did you do to help your son mi papá, ¿qué hacen ustedes para ayudar a su hijo? ¿Qué hicieron ustedes para ayudar a su hijo? Desde pequeño te llevábamos a terapia en Perú. Since you were small, we would take you to therapies. Pensamos que hicimos lo mejor. We thought that we were doing our best. Era lo que nos enseñaron a hacer. It was what society taught us to do. Y hay un instituto que es el mejor instituto del Perú y a ese... And in Peru, there is this institute, this therapy institute, which is the best in Peru, and we took you there. How old was Omar when you took him to that therapy institute? Three or four years old when a child is simply learning to speak. And making his first mistakes. Which are normal. Natural. There is nothing wrong when a child makes mistakes. He says that at that time that they didn't know better. That's all they knew. <clears throat> yeah. Speech Therapy Institute convinced you that your child had a problem. This is why there are millions of people around the world who stutter. And this is why I'm so passionate about what I do, because this is a crime. It's a crime, it's international crime. They convince a young child that he has a problem, 
Ah. Men sen har vi en beräkning på det. Det De convince his parents that the child has a problem. And the parents. So that that's what therapists think. That's what they. That's what they have been trained to believe. The problem is really deep, and it needs. It needs to be solved. And only together we can do it. Okay, so let's not talk about this crime anymore because it makes me really emotional myself. Okay. So, what do you want to see Omar doing today? In the future or now? In his life. Okay. That I accomplish all my goals. That I go to school. That I just live my life how I wanted to live it. And don't get frustrated like in the past. He wants to see me happy in whatever I choose to do. And who this all depend on? It depends on me. It depends only on you. Isn't it amazing? That's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. What's interesting that there was never, ever anything wrong with your son. For all these years, you guys thought that he was sick. And he thought so too. But he simply didn't use his body and mind in the correct way. <coughs> That's all. Okay, so I have no questions unless you have questions. They don't have any questions. I was surprised because on the first day, yesterday, I was a little frustrated by the end, but now that I've been talking for a while without you know, any errors, I realize that speaking is simple, it's easy, it's natural, it's not supposed to be hard, you don't have to overthink about speaking, you just have to speak and do it. And what about your parents? Ask them, what is their impression of you? Ask your mom. Today. Incredible. Incredible. Incredible to see him speaking that natural, without stop. What about your dad? How do you like your son today? <laughs> He sees me have you got it, so your face, your expression, your eyes. I see happiness. I wanna say thank you, you know, the course was amazing. I recommend it to I recommend it to everybody. The truth. Translate, what did he say? He said a joke. <laughs> okay. okay. So but what about your mom? Thank you for the big change that you have brought to my son. And I want to remind you, the class is not over, it's only the second day. Thank you very much. Thank you for raising a good man.
just now now kick his ass let him be no excuses anymore go speak 